An elderly sailor has been forced to swim to safety after his yacht ran aground in rough seas overnight. The 73-year-old was caught up in the wild storms that lashed our state, leaving a path of destruction across Perth and the southwest. Andrew Nelson reports. Mandurah Baptist College bore the brunt of last night's storm, 80 kilometre an hour winds tearing off the roof of the library. Insulation and sheets of metal strewn everywhere. It was too dangerous for emergency crews to put a tarp over the school. Principal Rob Gratton and his team salvaged what they could. About 20 people in here uh, moving all the library books from the shelves here onto tables over here. In nearby Rockingham, Angie Cummins' home was one of many hit by destructive winds. Then all of a sudden it was just this great big bang and uh, my patio came off. Further north and drama on a freeway cycle path. Christian Kerr and cycling buddy Stephen Anderson ran into fallen branches on their way to the city. I was right behind my mate and I just saw a tree about, I don't know, half a second before he clocked it got him full on the side of his head and it's cut open a part of his jaw. Stephen Anderson is stable at Royal Perth Hospital. On the water, police and local marine rescue risked their own lives after a French sailor ran into trouble off Alcamos. Just before seven last night, 73-year-old Dennis Pallas issued a mayday call. He basically said that his motor had broken down, his sails were torn, uh, his sea anchor wasn't working. Police and sea rescue volunteers tracked his EPIRB in rough seas. He was later found on the beach at Alcamos wearing a life jacket. His dog Pepe was with him but hasn't been recovered. Nine News understands the risky sailor has been rescued at least four times. Back on dry land, the wall of this Como unit complex collapsed. Bricks hit cars. This Wanneroo duplex was crushed by a tree. Its residents forced to relocate. In Quinn's Rocks, the roof of this home was blown off. And just streets away, 20-year-old Jess Dunn had been house-sitting her nan's place when the storm passed through. I came home, um, everything was collapsed onto the car. Some residents fared better than others last night, not requiring the SES's help at all. Peter in Scarborough has decided to take matters into his own hands. Uh, SES volunteers responded to more than 130 calls for help. Unfortunately, uh, there's nothing you can do when a, when a tree falls on your house or, or, or something untoward um, uh, happens. Western Power says less than a thousand homes are without services in Perth and the southwest. Andrew Nelson, Nine News.